So today I wanted to just demonstrate um, a repotting of a cattleya. Um, this cattleya has been in this pot for probably over five years and the reason why I want um, to repot this is as you can see like I have very little media left it looks very spent it looks that it's really been overused and stuff and you can see all the roots are kind of coming out um, which is a good sign that it's got a lot of root growth but it also means that you know the roots are kind of move, moving out because they're not happy uh, very happy in the media um, I let it go for a long time because I didn't want to disturb this cattleya but now that it's got this new growth on the side and I know there'll be a lot more root development I'm kind of ready to repot it and I think also um, the roots have started kind of attaching to the stands um, you know that this this pot is on and I I'm worried that you know it'll be a lot more damage before I if I don't repot it now so what I've done is I had I had already had it soaking so I've just filled up a basin full of water um, I'm actually going to repot two so this is the other one again you can see there's not much media left it looks very spent inside you know uh, roots are all over the place and things so I've just filled up two basins with water and I've had them soaking in here because of the amount of roots that are outside I've had it soaking here for nearly about three hours um, and then I shall start um, uh, repotting the reason for soaking them is basically just to make the roots a lot more malleable to be able to kind of you know lift them off the pot with just a gentle tug so that you know I don't damage too much of the root structure so after soaking for a little while we decided to break the pot and then peel it off softly while soaking it still in water and removing all the media from so around the cattleya all cleaned and and really well kind of maintained um, so you can see we've got a lot of roots and so we're very lucky with this you know it'll probably kind of um, bounce back really quickly the new growth is really nice and bulbous so we shouldn't have a, very much of an issue um, I'm gonna repot it in the La Rupe. Uh, you know beautiful pot shallow not too deep quite wide at the top you know um, lots of kind of holes for aeration and drainage of water so um, the mix that I'm gonna use so I measured it you can see that all the roots are quite nice nicely fitting in I've measured um, the pot to be kind of I just wanted it two fingers bigger than the previous one I still don't want it any deeper or anything like that now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this kind of um, growth towards the middle of the pot because you can see that the plant is more active on this side than it is on this this is kind of the old pseudo bulbs and stuff um, I'm gonna push it more towards the edge so that this this kind of side has a lot more room to grow into the pot you know um, because they they grow kind of in one direction now I'm not gonna push it too far back because there's a trick that I want to show you which I'm hoping will help will work on this and if it does then I'm gonna kind of um, initiate or boost or force some growth on this side so that's why I don't want to take it too on that side because I'm hoping for a two directional um, growth so I've just got a coarse um, mixture of bark and hummus and honestly that is all I use for my cat layers. I do not use anything else because the roots are quite um, uh, big and thick so it doesn't need anything else but as you can see it's quite crowded on this side but I am like I said I wanted it to be kind of have it because it will stay in this pot for another four or five years or so so I just wanted to have enough room to be able to grow so I'm just gonna add all this around there 
So here we have it. Um, it's all filled up and stuff. You can see it's toppling over a little bit. I haven't pressed it down too much because I don't want to kind of damage this little new growth and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the twist tie wire to kind of um, stabilize it inside the pot without kind of pushing this this um, new growth um, you know too out of the way or too into the media um, the only reason why I've done this with this Catlia at this stage even though this new growth doesn't have like super long roots is because it's a unifoliate Catlia um, I wouldn't do this with a bifoliate bifoliates are way more temperamental um, and what I mean by unifoliate and bifoliate is Unifoliate is only one leaf on each pseudobulb. With a bifoliate, you have two leaves from one pseudobulb, you know, so two leaves on this. So with a bifoliate, they're a lot more temperamental and they, they really need to be repotted at the correct time. So the roots from the new growth should be about, you know, five to six inches long and only then should you repot. If you repot it too early, it's going to really, really sulk and it'll take you even longer to, um, you know, kind of stabilize it than it would just normally. So remember, unifoliate, it's okay. Um, I repot at any time that I think is necessary. Bifoliate cattleyas, I will wait until I have a long enough root growth and I can see good root growth on the new growth. So here's a lesson that we've just learned a really hard way, not to repot in a hurry. Um, this Catlia, while we were just offline and trying to um, secure the Catlia to the, the pot, we just managed to break away the baby, so the new growth. So I'm quite disappointed, but hey, these things happen. But you know what? The pot is the plant is really secure to the pot and I'm pretty sure that these these um, new eyes will hopefully shoot some new babies and stuff so yeah it's unfortunate but things like this happen you know we just have to make sure that I boost this plant enough to, for it to shoot out another growth and stuff so for this wound not to let any pathogens in or any bacteria or anything I'm gonna just sprinkle it with cinnamon and also spray it with hydrogen peroxide kind of a double um, double measure for it not to get in an infection or anything so here is repotted my BLC Greenwich Elmhurst